Hey guys, this is John Catron from Everything Under the Sun. Uh, today what I wanted to show is a little bit of the Live Trace tool. Um, what that does is it makes everything a lot simpler when you're trying to make a vector, say for vinyl cutting or making a stencil in a laser cutter. Uh, so what we'll do is I guess we'll go on to Google. I have this guy ready here. He's just a bulldog in black and white. And when you're doing vectors, it's a lot easier for it to understand your shape if it's a black and white one. So that's preferred usually. So we got Live Trace, and sometimes you'll notice you can't find it up there. What you'll have to do is you'll click on the image that you want to change. And there it is right there. Uh, you, you can click on the default uh, way, and that'll just give you whatever is set as your default. Um, you can change it around, obviously, but usually it doesn't work out so well. So what I like to do is go to the arrow right next to it and say Tracing Options. So we have a bunch of different little settings here. Uh, the first one I'll go over is you want usually want Preview selected. As you can see down there, it's giving you a live preview of what it'll end up looking like. Um, if you're making a vinyl, um, usually you want to click ignore white so that it doesn't cut over the same shapes twice. Um, what ignore white does is it removes all of the white uh, so you're left with just uh, just the black in this case because it's a black and white. All right, And then we have corner angle and you can change the settings of that. The default's 20. Um, but the closer you get to 180, the smoother the lines will be um, to each anger point. And the closer you have to zero, obviously, it changes it to a straighter and more uh, jagged edge. Um, default's 20. We'll change it back. Okay. And minimum area, that will remove um, each shape that is smaller than whatever you have selected up here. Um, there we go, we have 750 and it removed a couple things. We can move it around. Uh, default is usually 10. We'll keep it at 10. And finally we have path fitting on this right side and what that does it changes um, the, um, the line to each anchor point and the closer you have it to zero the more anchor points you will have it just makes everything more fuzzy. Um, default is 2. And if you change it up any higher, really, sometimes it doesn't work out so well. And you'll end up with some really funky looking shapes. So we'll keep it at 2. And one more thing, we have the blur. And in some cases this helps. Usually I try to avoid it. But you can change it, um, say, to make it a little bit thicker here along these edges so that your machine or whatever is cutting um, will you know it'll be a lot easier on the the cuts and there we go we'll change it back to zero and we have threshold which doesn't exactly help in this situation uh, since it's a black and white in the first place Okay, so we'll hit trace. It looks good. And what you'll notice is it j still has these four points right here. Uh, you can't really edit much when it's like that. So what you do is you go to the top, you hit expand, just pretty close to where that live trace button was also. Hit expand. And now what you can do is you can manipulate each point to however you like it. Um, say you want to really change the uh, his ear and you want to make it a little bit fatter. So you grab it, click and hold, and there you go, you have a funky ear. Looks like he has a horn, we'll give him a horn. There you go. Okay, so that is how you use the live tracing tool. Um, I can give a more detailed explanation in the future, but for now that's just the basics of it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys.